so it's now Sunday, March 29th, technically like a whole week since like the first full day of um, the Illinois shelter in place. And the video that we're going to show you is from yesterday, Saturday. Uh, we took the dogs for a walk. The chihuahuas. Yeah, my other dogs that still live with my parents now, but now that I'm not with my parents, but I still consider them mine. So yeah, we took them for a walk. We just didn't post that video for yesterday because we then ended up having that whole crazy three hour Krispy Kreme wait and we decided to have that never as a- Never again. Yeah, never, never again. again. We decided to have that as a separate video. So yeah, so here's our video from yesterday. So enjoy and right now we're just, um, today we just haven't really done much, just taking Lance for a walk and been taking it easy today. Bye. My crazy chihuahuas at the park. At Lalica Park. Oh yeah, we also brought Lance. Let's see, there's Rose. Where's Peanut? There's Peanut. Oh, there's Steffi. Hi. You guys happy to go for a walk? Rose is like, I'm going this way. Yeah, they don't know where they're going yet. All right, let's go that way, guys, come on. Little dogs and a big dog. Bye, guys. So we picked up the two chihuahuas from my parents' house. They're two dogs I got when I lived in Arizona years ago, but obviously since they've been living with my parents for so long, they just stayed there. It's the Arizona Dog Club. Yeah, because Lance is also from Arizona. So we took them down to this little local park, Laisha Park. Um, we do have a video of Tim walking Lance around here when there are actually flowers and everything. Um, I'll link to that below and probably at the end of this video if you want to see what it normally looks like. Right now, obviously, things are just starting to grow. So this is what it looks like when all the flowers aren't blooming here. Still a nice little place to walk around. Here's where the normal fountain is. Lots of times um, right up there, they'll have weddings. Um, right now, it's all dried out, as you can see. Here's the nice little like patio, courtyard, whatever you call it. Again, they have weddings and parties out here. Normally this park is filled with people walking. There's someone way down there. But other than that, there's not that many people walking around, which is good. Um, I don't know if there's, if there's the flowers right now, if more people would be walking around or not, or hopefully it's just because of everything going on. That's why people aren't walking around. All the trees are marked. Yeah, all the trees are marked. Like I said, like watch if you really want to see what this place normally looks like when it's um, very active. We'll link the other video of this place and then you'll actually see what it looks like normally. But we just wanted to take the dogs for a walk in some place different. I did decide to take this next week off work because you know it's a little stressful being at work and being with the public. And then also like I have been feeling a little sick but I've also been feeling like this during my whole entire pregnancy. <laughs> like having a stuffy nose and a cough. It's been off and on the whole entire time, so I'm sure, and I have really bad allergies during this time normally, so I'm sure it's just a mixture of that. But it's like my vacation time, or actually my sick pay and everything rolls over next week. So I'm like, I might as well just take the week off. It's really recording Steffi dropping Rose. Rose, come here. Rose. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, you look at her. Yeah, you shake. Oh, and now there's Peanut. Ah. Lance is approaching the deer statue. I remember when we first took him here, he thought it was real and he like barked at it. Oh, wow, look at him. Lance, what are you doing? <laughs> now Rose is on the other side trying to look at it but she can't get up there, she's too little. Oh, now she can get up there and look at it. What is that, Rose? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> she's like, um, I don't know about that. Oh, and she's down. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Rose is a little crazy dog, but she also listens really well, so that's why I can drop her leash for like a moment because she won't go anywhere. If you call her, she'll stop. This one though, she sometimes likes to run away. Oh. Yeah, so weird how empty this park is because normally we walk through here when it's like spring and summer and it's packed. 
If I didn't say it before, this is Laisha Park in Lombard, Illinois. This is what they were going to be doing. Um, obviously, all these things are going to be canceled now. But there was going to be lunch with the bunny. So normally, there's all these little events in the Easter egg hunt. So um, hopefully next year, these events will actually be going on. Maybe we'll take the baby there. So just outside of the park, there's a Monarch Way Station. Um, this site provides milkweeds, nectar sources, and shelter needed to sustain monarch butterflies as they migrate through North America. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And there's where we came from the park over there. Over here, there's the train tracks down there. Across the train tracks, we are in now a little downtown Lombard. Um, here are some businesses. I see the dentist is still open. This over here, which I guess I'm technically walking through, I probably shouldn't be. Um, this is a pretty good restaurant, Praga and Bonton, although we actually only came here one time. We were celebrating someone's birthday and we went in the Bonton part and they had really cheap martinis specials. And we always said we were gonna go back and actually try their food. because It's like different Mediterranean and European food. We have it, but they do have a special right now um, during this whole thing that there's like $14 meals, $1 for the um, styrofoam container. And a, you get a super salad, you get um, an entree and you get a dessert. And, but it's like where you gotta call and order, like they release the menu for that day of the choices and you gotta call the day before to order it. But it seems like a nice little thing. We might try it one day. Penny a day. Statue of a girl and a pig. Her piggy bank. Yes, that's, oh, it's her piggy bank. I get it. Oh, I get it. Yeah, this is the one bank over here. One time we had a little um, wood fire pizza from there. It was really good. Now they have a food truck that goes around. Oh, wow. But yeah, this is kind of like the little downtown Main Street of Lombard, Illinois, or like of the old downtown. This isn't actually Main Street, but this is kind of the Main Street. I actually used to work down the street on Main Street here in Lombard. So I used to spend a good amount of time in this area. That's why Tim and I have eaten at some of these restaurants and stuff down here, because after work, there's still a good amount of cars driving around, as you can see in here. So they've got their little menu out here for this restaurant. As you can see, this downtown area has got some different things. There's a Chinese restaurant. I don't think we ever tried it, but we wanted to try it. It looks interesting. Yeah. Then there's this corner restaurant over here it's I've been at. No, this is a restaurant. Is I've always wanted to try this place. Um, it's cool because it's like obviously in this old building right here. I know they always change it. Oh, maybe, no, yeah. It's the Burbacks Grove House, Babcock's Grove House or something. Oh yeah, that's the corner. Not yeah. The corner. And then there's the train station right there. I, I don't courtyard. know about you, but I smell cookies. Mm, me too. Yeah, there's the corner house coffee place over there. That place, um, I know a lot of people that go there. We've gone there before. They have really good coffee. Yeah, this is where I saw the, the um, uh, American English the one day. Oh yeah. They had the state set up over here. Yeah, I like this little downtown area. So our whole entire life growing up in our little downtown Elmhurst, there's always this place called Bob's Magic Shop. And then eventually it turned into like Bob's Magic Shop and Curiosities. Well, I thought it closed and moved down here to Lombard. Oh wow, this is really cool. I'm sure it's probably cheaper to be in Lombard yeah, than Elmhurst. Yeah. Oh, but I'm happy that they're still open because yeah. I thought they were... This, he was really cool. He was an awesome magician and everything like that, but yeah. I used to love going here when I was when I was little. I was like really into magic, so I would go there and buy magic tricks. So I'm, it's awesome to see that they're open because now we can take our kid there when he gets older. So going from over there, from under the bridge where technically was like the little downtown area, now we are actually on regular Main Street. And there's this restaurant that's supposed to open called rosemary and jeans no matter how long the winter spring is sure to follow see you really soon lombard it's cool how it's an old house so i really hope they open up still after all this because i would love to go there and yeah i used to work way a few blocks down this way right there's an old dairy queen and it has the neon lights an old building over there that's apartments up top i used to always want to maybe move into one of them it's also an old church right here. 
across the street from the church is uh, one of the health centers for our local hospital out here. And then there's the Lombard Bible Church. There's the park where we were at. Our car's down there. I've actually and then, always wanted to go to this Victorian cottage that's over here. They were kind of restored. Uh, it's our historical museum, but I've never been, it's never been open right at here, so. Lily called Victorian Cottage. It's an old historic house, I guess. They it's a little museum. Back there and stuff like that. Yeah, and I mean, in general, there's a bunch of houses over here that are considered historic that now like our buildings or or like some sort of business where like, you can see that house has a little plaque on it. So there's a lot of old houses here. It's a really cute little area.